What is going on everyone welcome back to another video so in this video we're going to show you how to update your bios without a usb stick and how to update it with a usb stick so let's get started so the first step is quite simple all you're going to do is open up your search bar in windows type ms info 32 it's going to pop up with system information just open that you're going to look at baseboard product and this is what you want to take note of because this is what you're going to use to search up in google to find the latest bios for your motherboard and then bios versus last day as you can see this is probably the latest version for my motherboard so i'm going to quickly copy Control c on my keyboard while it's highlighted and i'm going to open up microsoft edge or whatever browser you use and search this up all right so once you've searched up your motherboard it's very very simple you're going to go to your support page and now every motherboard support page is going to look a little bit different but it's all the same thing you just need to find your firmware slash bios and then ideally you want to choose a version that is not the beta bios so whatever you do do not install beta bios versions unless you know what you're doing but 90 percent of the time just don't install beta bios versions you are going to have issues and it's just a headache to deal with so don't install beta bios versions just look for a normal bios version that doesn't have the word beta in it basically so as you can see this is the latest version right here for my motherboard or you click this download and make sure you have 7-zip or winwar so you can extract this now the next step is making a fake usb if your motherboard supports it so if you're on msi asus asrock or some other motherboard board you are most likely going to be able to use a fake usb in order to update your bios however if you're on gigabyte sadly you cannot do that just because i don't know why on gigabyte i just can't use the same method so if you're on gigabyte you do have to get a usb stick and then just put these files on the usb stick and then just use the usb stick to update your bios on gigabyte same exact process though so not that complicated but yeah if you're on msi asus asrock you are fine you can just use the, this method right here so all you're going to do is you're going to type disk management in your search bar it's going to pop up with this and it's pretty simple just find whatever drive you have so c drive i'm going to right click on it click shrink volume and you're going to make a 90 megabyte and allocate a space so once this is done as you can see i'm going to erase all of that so i do 92 because that's all i need click shrink give that a second as you can see it's going to make this an allocated space just right click on it new simple volume next 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 this is really important file system you want to choose fat 30 32. This is to resemble a USB stick, so just make sure you choose that. And then just name it BIOS so you know later if you want to delete it. It's just the BIOS file, so finish that up. Then you're going to open up this. You're going to pretty much just extract this onto the BIOS partition you just made. Click OK. Click OK. It's going to do that. Open up your file explorer, go to BIOS. Just make sure you drag that out into there, and you can delete that folder. And that's pretty much it. Now you can just go to your BIOS. For MSI, you just find M flash you just click that on the bottom left click yes and then you just look through all of the partitions on your ssd and just find the one that has the name of the bios file in it once you find it just click it and it's going to ask you do you want to update the bios press yes and then you're pretty much done just let it do its thing now really important guys make sure that you do not turn off your computer in the middle of a bios update and make sure to be patient with the bios update it is going to restart two or three times while it's doing the bios update so if you are impatient and you turn off your computer while it's restarting Starting, boom there goes your motherboard just because you decided to be impatient i've had this happen with a client before a very long time ago he for some reason just turned it off just because it wasn't booting according to him and his motherboard went out so don't do that guys please just leave your computer on just let it do its thing and be patient now the second thing is making sure that you're not doing this whenever it's storming outside or there's a hurricane outside or there's a tornado you don't want a power outage to happen whenever you're doing a bios update because as i explained earlier your motherboards are gone after that so make sure that you don't have a storm or a tornado warning whenever you're doing a bios update so yeah that's pretty much it but yeah it's pretty straightforward to update your bios on asus you just go to your advanced mode go to tool tab go to asus easy flash 3 utility and then just find go through the partitions find the bios file that you put on the partition and then just choose it press yes on the asus it's gonna ask you do you want to update just press yes on that let it do its thing again it's gonna restart a couple times or just show a black screen for a little bit keep restarting just be patient with it guys it'll tell you whenever it's done or it'll just boot straight back into windows as rock is super duper simple it's actually the simplest way to update out of all three of these bioses so on as rock you just go to advanced mode go to tool go to as rock instant flash it's going to instantly just pop up with the file if it finds it on your ssd all you do after that is click update press yes wait for it and that's pretty much it for as rock so it's pretty simple on gigabyte again you are going to have to use a usb stick whatever i just did is not going to work for gigabyte 
gigabyte so just plug in a usb stick and drag these files into there just because on gigabyte sadly this method just does not work or sometimes it does work but most of the time it just doesn't i don't know why contact gigabyte for that who knows either way you're gonna go to the q flash and just find your file for the bios on your usb stick choose it press yes and then press next now gigabyte is a little bit annoying i don't know why they do this but there's different revisions of the motherboard for gigabyte so you need to look on your motherboard on the bottom left of it or wherever it says the revision so rev 1.0 or 1.2 you need to choose that on the gigabyte website or else you're installing the wrong bios and it's just going to give you an error saying that's not the right bios so that's the thing about gigabyte it's probably the one of the most annoying motherboards to work with when it comes to updating the bios especially deferring between the data bioses and the normal bioses so if you're on a gigabyte and there's like an extra letter or an extra number compared to all the other bios before the latest one that's probably a beta bios just go to the one right under it it's hard to explain can't really say much else than that it just depends on your motherboard all of them are different they all use different code names for the bios but once you've updated it it's gonna just either direct you back into windows or it's gonna tell you to press f1 or press delete just do that and then you just kind of redo your bio settings so go back into your bios enable xmp enable expo enable docp just because if you don't do that you will lose performance because your ram's not going to be running at xmp so make sure to do that after a bios update and then just redo your settings how you usually would do them now this is really important if you do do a bios update this will reset all of your bios settings that you did previously so make sure to either save it with screenshots or save it in some way in order for you to redo them if you want to redo them or you have to just redo them from scratch which is pretty annoying also if you're optimized by me don't update your bios usually if there's a bios update needed i would do it during the service so if you're trying to update your bios when you're watching this video just click off there's no point of doing this you're just going to lose optimizations so yeah but anyways guys that's going to be pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned a thing or two and hopefully you updated your bios successfully without breaking your motherboard and without having to buy a usb stick so take it easy guys peace out